In this lesson, we're going to look at prime factors. Now, this can be useful for all sorts of things, but I don't want to get into that now. Let's just do the maths. So, what what do, what do we mean by prime factorization? It's prime numbers. Okay, so that's that's what we're going to be looking at. We're going to be looking at prime numbers. We're going to uh, um, just reduce it down. So, let's take fifty four. Now, how are we going to find the prime factors of 54? Well, we're going to do this little tree that's in reverse, and we're going to do what is what is half of 54. We've got uh, an even number at the end, so we know it's divisible by 2, and 2 times what is going to make 54? So we've got... 27 and 27 is 3 times 9 and 9 is 3 times 3 so you see what's happened there we've got we've got uh let's change the color here so you can see what we're doing we have 2 times 3 times 3 times 3. Now, if you times all of that together, you get 54. So, uh, I wonder if I've got a calculator right later on here. We can try it. Uh, calculator. Here's the calculator. We have 2 times 3 times 3 times 3 equals 54. Okay, so when we're dividing these down, you just divide them down to the prime numbers. So 2 is obviously a prime number. 3 is a prime number. 3 is a prime number. 3 is a prime number here. Right? So then it's, you know, the, the prime numbers are, are a number you can't reduce anymore. You can't divide it by anything else except one. You know, obviously one goes into two, one goes into three. Yeah, and itself, two goes into three, three goes into three, but nothing else does. Okay, so let's do another, let's do another one. Let's do, um, 96. So we've got 96. Now, it's an even number. Because 2 goes into 6, so we know it's going to be divisible by 2. 48. 2 times 24. And now it's 2 times 12. And now it's 2 times 6. And then 2 times 3. We can't go anymore. There we are done. And you, if you, if you times all of these together, then you, you would have that. There is something else that you could do here. It's like, uh, you could do that as a squared, and you could do that as a squared. I don't want to get too much into this because I want to do that in the next lesson. So we're just going to do a few of these. And okay, we're going to do another one now. What should we do? Uh, let's do 21. Now that's not divisible by 2. But there is this little rule here. If it's not divisible by 2, then add all of the digits together, and you get 3. And if it is divisible by 3, because 3 goes into 3 once, then you know it's divisible by 3. So we can put the 3 there. And what is it? It's 3 times 7. But it doesn't go any further. So you can't go any further than that. Yeah? Um, let's think of another one. Let's do uh, 81. Again, that's not divisible by 2, but it is divisible by 3, so we have 3 there. That's going to be 27. And then we have 3 times what is going to make 27. That's going to be 3 times 9, and then we're going to have 3 times 3. So... 
there you have the prime factors. They're always on this side here, these, these lower numbers. We can do one more. Let's do uh, 225. Now, uh, um, obviously, 5 is going to go into this. So, 5 of something, which is going to be 45. And then that's going to be 5 times 9. And then that's going to be 3 times 3. 5 doesn't look like a 5, does it? Okay, so you just keep reducing it, you keep the lower one on this side, and remember that that results is 5 times 5 times 3 times 3. That there, these numbers, these numbers here are the prime factorization of this number here. I really hope you liked my video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and come and check out my channel.